hand-sized, uh, pretty large specimen of solid cobaltan calcite, of course intermingled with some slightly yellowish calcite. Uh, you can see the, the clear, uh, cubic fracture zone of the calcite. Size-wise, hand size, so pretty large size. Here you can see the intricate little cubes forming, but the main point of display to me would be uh, going around this where we can see these large dog tooth uh, cobalt and calcite slightly yellowish from uh, of course the Mashamba West Mine in the Katanga this section was often associated with Kolwezat I don't see any here yet I do see a, a fine lawn of Krasikola sitting across some of those specimens from a display point of view lying flat would be going around like this so there is slight projection of these uh, large crystals of the main matrix. Looking from the top down, you'd have this effect. Uh, let's just go around like this. Lovely colorful piece. You'll see the, the intense pink, uh, shades of pink running through, almost going into a mild reddishness. Or this is what I see. Mind you, I have, uh, look at that, look at that little, almost a blush in the stone. Yellowish to pinkish, of course, cobalt and calcite. From the famous Mashamba West Mine, um, the, the cobalt and calcite dog tooth formation was not all that common. It was rather uncommon, actually, from the Katanga. And these crystals are pretty, pretty sizable. And of course the, the cubic fracture zone. So uh, as you'd fracture down these these uh, um, these rumbs, you'll you'll actually get into a cubic formation on the fracture zone. That's over there. Then indentation, a little bit of self-healing took place over there. Matrix itself, okay, is pretty much very colourful, actually, very very colourful. All the way from uh, the uh, Mashamba West Mine in the Katanga. Cobalt and calcite with Krasikola. And of course, when you look closer at these sections, you'll see little bot words of uh, powdery Krasikola.